Okay, so we'll start right away on hands and knees. You want the hands to be under the shoulders and the knees to be under the hips. And from the beginning, you want to have an awareness of your whole spine. So remember that the spine has four curves, four natural curves. We have the tailbone at the bottom tacking in. Then we have the lumbar, so the um, part of the spine that's already in a back bend at the lower back. And then there's the upper back, the thoracic spine, which is actually in a forward fold. Finally, we have the cervical spine, which is in a back bend again. So you have these natural waves in the spine. So you want to start just by being on your hands and knees and bringing awareness to those curves. As far as possible, you want to lengthen the spine. You want to think of the vertebrae, separating one from the other. So really send your sit bones all the way back and send the crown of the head all the way forward. Relax the muscles of your face, relax your jaw. Keep pressing down into the hands, down into the knees and have a slight engagement of your belly. Throughout the class you want to have a strong lower belly, sucking in and forward, just so that you make sure that the lower back is staying long and strong. From here, we'll start bringing some movement to the spine, starting from the pelvis. So you want to uncurl the tailbone up. So remember the bottom part of the spine that's normally tucking in, that's in a forward fold. You want to pick it back and up and reach it towards a back bend. And then find that tailbone again and curl it back in. We want to isolate the movement at the pelvis. So keep the rest of the back straight and reach the tailbone back up, keep the lower belly in and tuck the tailbone back in. Keep pressing down into the hands, down into the knees and again try to isolate the movement at the pelvis and try to keep the lower belly engaged. Good, come back to center, so sending the sit bones back and reaching forward through the crown of the head. We will now start the movement with the pelvis and will allow the lumbar spine, so the lower back, to also be uh, well to play along, to be included in the movement. So uncurl the tailbone up and start curling through the lower back. So back bend your lower back and then again tailbone in and round in through the lower back. Try to not include the chest yet. So uncurl the tailbone. Keep the lower belly in and reach the sit bones up, curl the lower back and then tuck tailbone in, keep the lower belly in and arch the lower back. We'll do it two more times, maybe it helps to close the eyes and just concentrate on what's happening with the lower back. Keep the lower belly in and uncurl the tailbone back up again. Arch the lower back, exaggerate the curling motion of the lower back, it's back bent, and then curl the tailbone in and try to lengthen the lower back. Good, come back to center. Take a moment again to breathe. If at any point today you feel that you need a rest, you can always come back and rest at a child's pose. Today is about awareness of the spine, strengthening the back muscles and strengthening especially our lower back, but also having the ability to squeeze our upper back muscles, which are usually in an extension because we're always crouching in nowadays on our devices. So today is our opportunity to use our strength of the lower back to open up. So come back to hands and knees if you're not there. We'll now include the upper back. Start by uncurling the tailbone up, pull the lower belly in, exaggerate the back bend of the lower back, use your hands to also find a back bend in the upper back. Keep the crown of the head just following the movement, so don't pick up the chin. And then press into the hands, curl the tailbone back in, pull the lower belly in and 
round the back. Again, don't include the cervical spine, just allow the neck to follow uh, what the chest is doing. So uncurl the tailbone, keep the lower belly in, up, um, round, sorry, arch through the lower back, arch through the upper back, keep the chin just coming forward, and then round lower back, press into the hands, keep the lower belly in, exaggerate the arch, the rounding of the upper back. One more time. Arch through the lower back, arch through the middle back, arch through the upper back, and then round back in from the tailbone to the lower back, middle back, upper back. Okay, come back to center, back to neutral. If you feel any discomfort, that's just a reminder to really suck your lower belly in and reach it forward. This core action will keep you safe. And this core action will also help you to build um, deep core muscles and back muscles. Okay, here we go. Final cat-cow position. So we start by uncurling the tailbone, arch the lower back, arch the middle back, arch the upper back and bring the chin up. So arch the cervical spine and then round the lower back, tuck tailbone under, pull lower belly in and up, round through the middle back, through the upper back, and bring the chin in, press into the hands. So this is angry cat position. Back to the cow position, and curl the tailbone, pull the belly in, arch through middle back, through upper back, and pick up the chin, and then exhale, round through the lower back, middle back, upper back, chin. One last time, this time we'll use the knees and the hands. So uncurl the tailbone, and as you arch through the whole back, use your hands to pull back and the knees to push forward. That, that exaggerates the movement. So really push forward through the knees, pull back through the hands, pick up the chin, squeeze the back, and then curl the tailbone back in, push back through the knees, push forward through the hands, and round the whole back, pushing back through the knees and forward through the hands. Good job. Bring the hips back and rest. Close your eyes. Again, have that awareness of the natural curves of the spine. We'll now do some lower belly activation. So come forward and turn around. Lie on your back. We'll do some abdominal exercises. Throughout the exercises, you want to think of the lower belly coming in and up towards the chest. Bring your hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, and pick up the upper back. Now from here, we want to bring the knees over the hips and flex the feet. Exhale, pull the lower belly in. And then inhale here, pick up the chest, make sure that the shoulder blades are off the ground. Exhale, send the right leg away, straighten the leg, and bring the elbows towards the left thigh, pick up the tailbone, so curl the tailbone in. Inhale back to center. And exhale, left leg out, elbows to thigh, pick up the tailbone and pull lower belly in. Back to center. If it's too hard, send the leg higher up. So straighten the right leg, pick up the tailbone, pull lower belly in, and send elbows to left thigh. Inhale back to center. And exhale, left leg out or up. If you want it easier, send it up. Elbows to thigh, pull lower belly in, and pick up your tailbone. Really curl the tailbone up. One more time on each side. Inhale back to center. And exhale, right leg out. Straighten the leg, pick up the tailbone, send elbows to left thigh, pull lower belly in and forward. Really pick up the tailbone and then inhale back to center, keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Last side, left leg out, pick up the tailbone, elbows to thigh, pull lower belly in and up. Good job. Come back to center and exhale, come down, rest. Bring your hands to the lower belly. So as I said before, what you want is to actually engage the deep core muscles. So you want to think of the sits bones, the bottom bony parts of the pelvis, 
coming in and that visualization will help you to contract the deep core muscles at the pelvis, the pelvic floor muscles. Those are thin layers of muscles at the pelvis, pelvic floor. You want to reach up through the pelvic floor and then Remember the action we're doing now with the lower belly, really send the lower belly, so the part in between the belly button and your pubis, that's your lower belly, send it down and reach it towards the chest. Those actions will keep your lower back strong and safe. So those are the actions you want throughout the exercises today. Carefully bring your knees to the chest. You can push the knees up and pull back with the hands. Send your sits bones away and pull the shoulder blades down the back. So I repeat, you want to push up through the knees and pull down through the hands. The more you push with the knees and pull with the hands, the more you lengthen the lower back. Sack lower belly in and up. And then from here, you can rock back and forth or you can just come to the side and then find a seated position. So one way or another, find yourself back to a seated position. Okay, and curl the tailbone back. So remember what we were doing before. You want an anterior pelvic tilt. This is posterior where you're tagging the tailbone under, exaggerating this curve of the bottom part of the spine. And this is anterior pelvic tilt where we're actually tilting the pelvis backwards so that we uncurl the tailbone, visualizing the bottom part of the spine actually coming to uh, a vertical rather than being tucked under. So with that curled back pelvis, you want to sit down. If you're not comfortable sitting on the ground, you can roll your mat or a towel or a blanket so that you have some cushion under the tailbone so that you can help yourself to find this long lower back. From here, we'll open up the chest. So you want to inhale your arms up, reach up, and then exhale, bring the elbows down, just like a cactus, pull the shoulders back, pick up the chin, and use the elbows to push back. So imagine you're pushing back through the elbows. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, but keep the shoulder blades together by pushing back through the elbows. Then pick up the chin, inhale here, and exhale, release, come back to center. Maybe it's the first time you're trying something like that and it felt like a lot in the upper back. That's good. We want to bring awareness to our upper back because a lot of the time it's just relaxed, extending. So we want to really squeeze through the upper back so we can open up the front of the chest. That's the intention. So bring your arms back up into a cactus Pick up the chin, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back, and use the elbows to push back again. Pick up the chin, pull down through the shoulder blades, and breathe here. If you want more, push a bit more with the elbows, a bit more through the back of the hands. Pick up the chin, pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze a bit more. Inhale, come back to center slowly and exhale the arms down. We'll go one more time. We'll take some time again to feel what's happening. If you've lost the lower back, then again, and curl the tailbone back, sack lower belly in and up, and reach up through the rib cage. You want this long body through the sides of the body. Keep finding that leg. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, and the shoulder blades down. So you can do this shoulder shrug action to really pull the shoulders out of the way. With the shoulder blades down, pick up the elbows, elbows shoulder height, hands open, and then again, push back through the elbows, push back through the hands, pick up the chin and breathe. Keep the lower belly in and lift it up and breathe. Keep the chin coming up, the shoulder blades coming down. And exhale, relax. Okay, we'll do some neck um, release. We often hold a lot of tension at the neck and that will be a problem. If you're really stiff there, then you won't be able to open it. So let's try it. Sit up straight again. You want to sit in front of the sit bones, pick up the chest. We'll start with the right side. 
So bring your left, um, your right hand under the right collarbone. Find your skin there under the collarbone and pull it down and then use the left hand on top to help to pull the skin down. Keep the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. Pull the skin down, pull the skin away from the neck. So I'm going diagonally away from the neck. And then bring your head to the left and then bring your chin up. You'll find a sweet spot that works for you. So you can search for that spot where you feel that you're stretching the neck the most. You'll feel it. Pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Pick up the chin, find that spot, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw and breathe. Keep sitting tall, keep the lower belly in and up. Inhale deeply into the part that you're stretching. And exhale, let go of that stiffness. Good, one more breath. And exhale slowly, let go of the skin of the chest and bring the head back to center. Bring your left hand under the left collarbone, pull the skin down and away from the neck. Bring the right hand on top. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Keep the lower belly in and up. And curl the tailbone, long lower back. So we're building the strength of the lower back when we're sitting up straight. Inhale, pick up the chin. So chin to the right and up. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and use the hands to pull the skin diagonally as you pick up the chin. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Breathe into that stiffness, that stretch. Breathe deeply, completely, continuously. Long, steady breaths. Carefully allow the skin to just come back to its normal position. Bring the head back to center. Pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. Remember to pull our belly in and reach up. This is your deep core strength. If throughout the day you're sitting on your chair properly, then you're building strength. And that's the best workout you can do. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And now we'll bring our right ear to the right shoulder. Not the shoulder to the ear. The shoulder stays back and down and the ear comes down to the shoulder. Relax the eyes, relax the jaw and inhale into the left neck. Now to add more, you can bring the right arm over, over everything, so on top of everything and push up with the head. The more you push with the head, the more you'll feel it on the left neck. So push with the head and just resist with the hand. The hand is not pushing, it's just there to resist. Inhale deeply into the left neck. Exhale, push more with the head. And one more time, inhale deeply. And exhale, push more. Okay, tell the hand to allow the head to come back to center. Sit tall. Good. Ear to the left shoulder, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Start here, maybe you need to stay here today. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and keep the ear going for the shoulder. From here, if you want to go for more, bring the left hand over and push up with the head. Then the more you push, the more you're strengthening your neck. Push, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw and have the hand there just to resist. The action starts from the head. Inhale into the right neck. And exhale, push a bit more. One more time, inhale deeply. And exhale, push a bit more. Slowly, tell the hand to allow the head to come back to center. Okay, breathe here. We'll bring the head to the right. So just facing the right. You want the shoulders to go back, the shoulder blades to come down. Remember to suck lower belly in, lift up, and lift up through the back of the skull. So find a long neck. From there, again, remember the shoulder blades should go down the back. And then bring the right hand to the left cheek. Make sure that you've sanitized yourself beforehand. And then push the head to the hand. 
The hand is just there to resist. The more you push with the head, the more you'll feel it on the left neck. Again, inhale deeply into the left neck. And exhale, push a bit more with the head. One more time, make sure the shoulder blades are down, inhale. And exhale, push a bit more. Okay, let the head come back to center. Less resistance with the head until it comes to center. And sit up tall. Last side, bring the head to the left. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. These are great exercises to strengthen the neck and to release the tension that's always built on there. So bring the left hand to the right cheek, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, reach up through the back of the skull and pull the belly in and reach up through the lower belly, building the strength of the lower back. Push with the head, resist with the hand. Inhale deeply as you push. Exhale completely and keep pushing. One more breath, inhale deeply. And again, push a bit more. Okay, tell the hand to, to allow the head to come back to center. Bring the chin down. Roll the head to the right. Bring the head forward and roll the head to the left. Again, finding length of the back of the neck. Okay. Come back to center. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder legs down, and bring the chin to the chest. We're using the right hand in a fist to push the forehead up. Now the fist is pushing and the head is resisting. So push with the head, keep the chin in. The more you push, uh, sorry, with the fist, the more you push with the fist, the more you'll feel it at the back of the neck. Keep the chin in, keep the shoulder blades down, and keep pushing with the hand, resist with the head. Take a deep breath. Open the mouth and let it out. Two more times. Keep pushing, inhale. Pull shoulder blades down, open the mouth. Last one. Okay. Tell the head to stop resisting so that the head comes up. Pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Fingers, so index and middle fingers to the jaw. We're using the fingers to add some uh, push, but again, listen to your body and see how much you need to push yourself. You don't have to push more than what you need today. So pick up the back of the skull, pull the shoulder blades down, keep the back of the skull reaching up. We'll bring the index and the middle fingers to the jaw, and now we'll pull the jaw long and then wide. So again, close the mouth, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Use the fingers to pull the jaw down and then open the mouth wide. Three more times at your own pace. Keep sitting up tall and do it. Again, the more you push with the fingers, the more you reach the head up, the more you open the mouth, the more you'll feel it at the neck. Last one. Good. We'll come back to our hands and knees and we'll do some more lower back strengthening. So press into the hands and press into the knees. I'll give different options. So make sure that the head is reaching forward and the six bones are reaching back. You want the lower belly to be sucked in and forward the whole time. So you don't want to uncurl the tailbone. The whole time the tailbone is at, the, at its natural curve down. So tucking in just naturally. Think of the six bones, the bottom of the pelvis, so you can touch your butt and you find two bones there, reach them back. Keep the lower belly in, reach it forward. So find a distance from the uh, pelvic floor to the belly button, reaching the sit bones back and reaching the belly button forward as it's stuck on the spine. Press into the hands, relax the head, pull the shoulder blades down the back, so long back. Press into the left hand, 
and inhale the right arm up, exhale the right arm down, press into the right hand, inhale the left arm up, and exhale the left arm down. Notice if you're losing the engagement, so find the engagements and inhale right arm up, exhale right arm down, keep the engagements and inhale left arm up, so try to be as still as possible, only the arm is moving, hand down. Legs now, so press into the hands, pull the shoulder blades down the back, reach the back of the skull forward, reach the sit bones back, pull the belly in and forward, press into the left knee, the left uh, foot, and reach the right leg back, straighten the leg, and exhale the knee down, left leg. Press into the right knee, press into the hands, inhale the left leg back, straighten the leg and exhale the knee down. Keep the lower belly in, keep the pelvis square. Inhale the right leg back so that the toes are keep uh, facing the ground. So exhale the knee down. Don't open up the foot sideways. So keep the foot facing the same way as you inhale the left leg up. Keep the lower belly in, press into the hands and exhale the left knee down. Okay. Now we want to do opposite arm and opposite leg. Pull the belly in, press into the right arm and into the left knee and inhale, bring the left arm and the right leg up and exhale, bring them down. Okay, press into right, uh, left hand and right knee and inhale, right arm up, left leg up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, reach up, keep the belly in. See how, how high up we can get everything while keeping the belly in. And then exhale down, opposite limbs. Inhale up, reach higher up, and exhale down. Okay. Bring the knees further back, and then bring all the weight to the arms. The further back you take the knees, the more you'll need to work with your core. Pull the belly in, press into the hands, pull the shoulder blades back. Keep breathing here. If you're comfortable in a plank, tuck the toes under and lift the legs. Otherwise, keep the knees down. What's important is to pull belly in and forward, press into the hands, press into the feet and breathe. If it's too much, bring the knees down, but keep the actions. Keep reaching back through the six bones. Keep reaching forward through the lower belly. Keep reaching back through the shoulder blades. Long neck. Five more breaths here. Press into the hands, press into the feet. Make sure that the hips are at the same uh, level, at the same straight line as the shoulders and the feet. So if the hips are higher up, bring them down. If the hips are lower down, bring them up. Two more breaths. Keep the lower belly in and forward. One more breath. Okay, so slowly you'll bring the knees down, if they're not down, and slowly you'll bring the hips back. So that you come back to child's pose, but with all the engagements. Lie down. Take this as an opportunity to actively rest. Keep finding those curves of the spine. Send the sit bones back, pull the belly in and forward. You can reach forward through the hands to really straighten the shoulders, widen the shoulder blades, and relax. Okay, come back to all fours. You want to bring the left hand under the chest, bring the knees. Uh, under the hips, left hand under the chest, pull the shoulder blades down, so left hand is at the center of the mat, bring the right hand behind the neck, keep the belly in, push into the hand and open up sideways, inhale and exhale, come back down, so keep the hips over the knees, inhale, open up through the upper chest and exhale, come back down. Keep pressing down into the hand, into the knees. Keep the belly in, inhale, open up, and exhale, come down two more times. Inhale, open up, think of pushing up, and exhale, back down. Keep the lower belly in and forward. Last one, inhale up, 
and exhale down. Okay, switch sides. So as you're doing it, you should feel that the upper back is working, squeezing, strengthening. Keep the neck long. Don't undo all the work we did before. Make sure that the hand is under the chest, under the center of the chest. Pull the shoulder blades down. Press the knees down. Suck the belly in and forward. Send the six bones back. Bring the hand to the left, uh, the left hand to the neck. Inhale, open up the left elbow up. And exhale back to center. Controlled movement. You can even hold it for a split second when you go up. So inhale up. Hold it for a split second and exhale down. Controlled movement, three more times. Make sure that the hips stay over the knees and keep going. Make sure that the shoulder blades stay down. Feel how you're squeezing the left upper back as you're coming up and how you're using all your core the whole time. So last one, inhale up, keep the lower belly in and forward, open up through the elbow and exhale down. Okay, bring the hands down and sit back. We'll do some wrist strengthening as a way to take a break. So you want to open up the palms, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. Straighten the arms so you keep working with the shoulders and open up the fingers wide. Then bring the fingers together and then open up the fingers wide. And then bring the fingers together and then open up the fingers really wide and then go fast. So go really fast, really opening up the fingers all the time. Keep the arms straight. The shoulders are burning, the forearms are burning, the triceps are burning. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and keep going really fast. Really open up the fingers wide and bring them together as fast as you can. For 10, 9, 8, 7, go faster, 6, 5, keep the belly in and up, 4, Three, two, and one. Release. You can roll the wrists. So form a gentle fist and roll the fist around. And then go the other way. And then opposite arm. And go the other way. Okay, shoulder shrugs. Bring the arms up. What we want is to push up with the hands and then bring the shoulders back down. So straight arms and we're reaching the arms up and then reaching the shoulder blades down. So what's happening is a scapula movement. So you're raising your wings, these triangular wings here, the scapulae, and then you're bringing the scapula back down. So reach up and down. Straight arms, pull the belly in, reach up through the arms, and down, up, and down. Five more, keep the belly in, reach up through the arms, straight arms, and down. Exhale the ribs in, keep the ribs in, inhale the arms up, keep the ribs in, exhale the arms down. If the ribs are in, there's, a, there's more shoulder mobility going on. If the ribs are flaring out, then your shoulders are not opening themselves. They're actually being helped by the uh, rib cage. So keep the ribs in as you reach up through the arms and then back down. Keep the shoulder blades wide. One more, reach up and reach down. Okay, release slowly con with control. You can do some shoulder shrugs one way and then the other. And now we'll actually do a more uh, dynamic movement. So you can come to your knees or come to your feet. You can stand up. Press feet down or press knees down. Pull the belly in and bring your arms up. This time we want to keep the ribcage closed. So exhale the ribs in. See how when you exhale the ribs in, the, sh the shoulders seem to be more limited. So you really want to push back through the arms when you're exhaling the ribs in. So we will inhale with the ribs in, open up, and exhale, round back in. So I'm curl the tailbone, back bend, and then roll back in. And push, and then we'll go fast. 
keep the belly in. The breath can be smooth and slow, but the movement is fast. Make sure that the movement is articulated, so every time you open up, you stick the butt out, every time you come in, you pull the belly in. Keep the neck long, and then go faster. Keep the belly in, especially if you feel any lower back. Okay, for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, slowly, let go. We'll go for one more plank. This time on the forearms. So press inner hands and outer elbows down, keep the belly in. Reach the shoulders over the elbows and move the knees back. Keep the belly in and forward. Again, you can stay with the knees on the ground. What's important is to keep thinking of length. Send the sit bones back, send the crown of the head forward. If you want to go with straight legs, tuck the toes under, send the heels back, pull the belly in, reach the chest forward and breathe. Keep your awareness at the spine. Keep lengthening the distance between each vertebra. 10 more breaths, you can do it. Send the heels back, send the crown of the head forward. Pull the lower belly in and forward. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Eight more breaths. Keep pressing inner hands and outer elbows down. Use the strength of your chest for six. Five, Four, keep the belly in and forward. Three, keep the shoulder blades back. Keep the glutes active. Two. And one. Again, very slowly you'll bring the knees down, controlling the movement. And very slowly you'll walk the elbows back and come to a child's pose. Send the sit bones back, pull the belly in, reach forward through the arms, relax the forehead, widen the shoulder blades and breathe. From child's pose, we'll do some lateral stretching. So we'll bring the right hand to the right and then the left hand over the, the right hand. The more you go to the right with the right hand, the more you'll stretch the left side. So keep the left hand over the right hand, pull yourself forward through the hand and keep pushing the left sits bone back. So keep the sits bones over the hips and inhale lateral stretch from the lower belly all the way up to the fingertips. Find that length. Send the left sits bone back. Inhale deeply into the left rib cage, the left intercostal muscles, the left armpit. And exhale, reach further forward through the fingertips, further back through the sits bones. Pull the belly in. Again, keeping that length, you'll walk the hands back to center. You exhale in child's pose. And then you inhale, reach the fingers forward, left hand to the left, and right arm over the left hand. Keep reaching forward to the right arm, back through the right sit bone. Pull the belly in and reach it all the way forward. Reach the crown of the head forward, and exhale the sit bones back. Inhale into the whole right side, and exhale, reach the fingers forward further away, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, last inhale here, find that length, and exhale, okay, bring the hands back to center, reaching away the whole time, don't collapse as you're moving away from poses, it's important to stay active, then we'll come forward and lie on our belly, We'll bring the elbows under the shoulders, hands 
forward. Now, if this is too much, you can bring the elbows further away, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down, pick up the chin. If you feel comfortable with the elbows under the shoulders, then it's the same action. You want to keep pressing the hands down, pull the shoulders up, back and down. Press down into the feet, activate your glutes, so squeeze your butt cheeks, pull the lower belly in and forward, the rib cage in and up, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Remember if it's too much, take the hands further away. Okay, inhale, reach the chin further forward and further up, and exhale, reach the chin forward and lie down. Bring your arms to the sides, just like a T, and then bring your left hand, I'll show it with my right hand, left hand on the ground, so bring the elbow up, and use the hand to twist yourself to the right, to, to the left, so open up to the left, pull the shoulder blades down, and feel the stretch on the left shoulder. Take it easy, you might need to be lower down. Keep the shoulder blades down, and push. If you want more, you can always bend the left knee and maybe the right knee. But take it easy. You can stay here. You want to feel that stretch at the shoulder. Keep pulling the shoulder blades down. Keep reaching further uh, forward through the back of the skull. So lengthening the neck. If you feel more comfortable, again, you can go a bit deeper. Maybe bending the left knee and placing the foot down, maybe doing the same with the right. Pull belly in and up, and then slowly bring the legs back. Very slow movements. We'll switch sides. So straighten the left arm, bend the right elbow, and move over the shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades down, relax the head, and breathe. Stay there or go for a deeper variation. And breathe. Okay, again, if you want to go deeper, this is your opportunity. You can bend one knee, maybe both. The whole time you want the belly to be in. Remember to have that deep core working. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Feel the shoulder opening. Okay, we'll come back to center very slowly. And this time we'll cactus the arms. So this will feel deeper. First we'll go, um, well, we'll open up to the left again. So bring, yeah, bring the elbows in a cactus, pull the shoulder blades down. Stack the elbow over the left hand, pull the shoulder blades down the back and try to do the same action this time with the elbow bent. It will be more of a resistance. Now we're opening up the side of the chest. So again, if you're ready for it, you can move your hips one on top of the other or even go for bending the knee. But take it easy, this is a deeper stretch. Pull the shoulder blades down, keep the neck long, the head relaxed. Inhale into the part that you're stretching and exhale, pull the shoulder blades down a bit more, pull the belly in and up a bit more, inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, find length through the feet, through the head, and come back to center, cactus the left arm, and come over the left shoulder, pull the shoulder blades down, and breathe. If it gets comfortable, go deeper. Remember that one side might feel much different than the other side. And that's perfectly normal. That's why we should be doing our exercises in order to balance things out. Two more breaths. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Reach the crown of the head. Uh, long and reach the feet away. 
slowly when you're done with the two breaths come back very slowly okay cobra bring the feet together press the tops of the feet down pull the belly in and forward so you can actually use your hands to pull the belly forward and then lie down again so that the lower belly is already pulled forward bring your hands under the shoulders the elbows in so you want the knuckles to be uh, under the top of the shoulders elbows in press the tops of the feet down straighten the legs so the more you press the feet down the more you lift the knees and you'll squeeze the glutes you want that action of the glutes because we're bending the whole back so press into the hands squeeze the glutes squeeze the back muscles of the body reach the chin forward the shoulders up the shoulders back you might be lower that's fine press the feet down chin forward and chin up shoulders back shoulder blades down elbows in keep the elbows bent don't uh, stretch the arms inhale the chin up shoulders back shoulder blades down and exhale gaze to the left back cheek take a breath here inhale and exhale twist a bit more inhale come back to center and exhale come down we'll do it again to twist to the other side it's very important to keep the glutes moving forward towards the kidneys the kidneys forward towards the floating ribs the ribs in and forward so you have this length so if you want to again bring the hands down and make sure that you're pulling the belly forward so you can manually pull the belly forward hands under the shoulders elbows in feet together press the feet down cobra inhale the chin forward the chin up shoulders back shoulder blades down pull the shoulder blades together maybe you're low that's fine keep that length and then gaze to the right keep the shoulder blades coming down look at your right butt cheek press the feet down squeeze the butt cheeks forward inhale and exhale maybe twist a bit more but keep the belly in and forward inhale and exhale come back to center good job calm down bring your arms back reach the legs back reach the chin forward press the hands down inhale the chin forward and the chin up pull the shoulders up and the shoulder blades down reach further forward through the chin further up through uh, the chin pull the shoulders back the shoulder blades down and breathe keep the legs on the ground press down into the feet activate the glutes four three two keep the belly in and forward and one calm down so if you feel any discomfort in the lower back again remember to lengthen the lower belly forward to reach the glutes forward to squeeze the front the the whole back of the body to reach forward and extend the whole front of the body so remember all the actions that we were doing with the upper back that's when you need that's what you need right now squeeze the upper back squeeze the middle back squeeze the glutes forward and everything squeezes so that you open up in a smooth curve we'll go one more time we have you have, you have the option of bringing the legs up chin forward and chin up shoulders up legs up four five keep the belly in and forward squeeze the glutes four keep the feet together straight legs three chin forward chin up shoulders up shoulders back four two and one lengthen first and then come down good job okay downward facing dog come to hands and knees tuck the toes under and reach the hips up push into the hands widen the shoulder blades reach the heels back and send the sit bones up if you need to bend the knees if you don't need to straighten the legs send the heels back and curl the tailbone up press it to the hands wide and the shoulder blades five deep breaths here inhale press into the hands exhale reach the sit bones further back further up inhale wide and the shoulder blades relax the head exhale straighten the arms press into the hands inhale keep the lower belly in and forward exhale Activate your pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale. 
Last one. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Stretch your whole body. Come forward. And then bring the knees down. Come to sit on your butt. We'll finish with some core activation. Send the tailbones back. So sit in front of the at the front point of the pelvis. Keep the knees bent. Bring your hands back. Pick up the chest. Inhale here. And exhale. Pick up the chest a bit more. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Bring the fingertips a bit further forward. Feel the belly working, so reach up through the belly. If you want more, bring one leg up and then take it down. Bring the other leg up and then take it down. Keeping the belly in and up, you can repeat one leg at a time or bring both legs up. But remember to keep everything strong. This is not easy. Four, five. If it's too much, feet down. Four, keep the belly in, activation of the core. Three, maybe again lift one leg and take it down. Two, maybe lift the other and take it down. And one. Slowly use your hands to bring the hips forward and lie down. Some final crunches. Bring the elbows in, pull the shoulder blades down, pull the belly in and then reach the chest up and down. Keep the sits bones reaching away. Chest up and down. Keep the lower back stuck on the ground. Chest up and down. Two more. Chest up and down. Sits bones away, lower belly in and towards the chest. Bring the elbows up and then take them down. Good job. Knees to chest, like at the beginning, push the knees onto the chest and, you, and try to push up through the knees. Send the sits bones away, long lower back. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, the back of the skull away from the sits bones. Find that length, inhale deeply. Open the mouth, exhale. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale, press the knees onto the chest, push up with the knees, lengthen the lower back, and exhale through the mouth. Slowly bring the knees down. Open up the arms, pull the shoulder blades down, and then bring the knees to one side, keep the belly in. Inhale the knees up and bring the knees to the outside. Keep the lower back close to the ground. Back to center and knees to one side. Back to center and knees to the other side. Back to center, knees to chest. Hug your knees, bring your forehead to the knees. And then straighten the legs. Allow the feet to splay out, allow the arms to be on your side, pull the shoulder blades down the back, bring the chin in and relax. Take a minute in full stillness, just lying here to allow the body to digest what's happened and to allow the mind to digest what's happened. Allow muscle memory to become something concrete so that you remember when you're sitting down on your desk what it means to keep your decor strong so that you remember how to sit up properly how to stand up properly and how to notice when your body is just collapsing and falling apart Stay here and rest with the idea of a strong, healthy body, a strong, healthy mind. Relax.
Good job, everyone. Stay still. Keep your eyes closed. Stay motionless. Just notice your breath. See how the belly button rises with every inhale, how it drops with every exhale. And with your next inhale, fill your belly with air. Really send the belly button up. Allow the sides of the belly to expand sideways. Allow your lower back even to push onto the ground. And exhale, allow everything to come back in. Do it one more time, sending your breath all the way into the belly, the front, the sides, the back of the belly. And exhale, visualize it just like a balloon deflating back into the center. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly with air. Open the mouth and exhale through the mouth. Start moving your fingers, start moving your toes, and start moving your wrists, your ankles, your hands, your feet, your elbows, your knees, your shoulders, your hips. Start moving your head from side to side. Wake up the whole body, reach away through the arms, really stretch through all four limbs, and eventually you can bring the knees in and hug your knees again. Rock from side to side. Massage your middle back, your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, your middle back. And then you can move in circles, you can move to the side of the infinity, go one way and then go the other way. Gently find your way to the sides and use your hands to find a comfortable seat again. Remember, you want to sit in front of the sit bones, so feel free to sit on top of a blanket, on top of a pillow, a cushion. You want your shoulders to again reach all the way back, your shoulder blades to reach down and the back of the head to reach up. We'll finish with three deep breaths. Inhale, Inhale into the lower belly, your middle belly, your upper belly, your chest, your collarbones. Open the mouth and exhale out. Two more times. Inhale into lower belly, middle belly, upper belly, rib cage, chest, collarbones. Open the mouth, exhale out. One more time. Keep sitting up tall, keep the face relaxed, inhale deeply. All the way up and exhale completely. Thank you for taking this class. Thank you for taking care of your strength, your health. If you have any comments, any suggestions, let me know. I wish you a beautiful time and I hope to see you again soon.